Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday in our lesson, we looked at evaluating and writing exponents, and today we're going to look at multiplying exponents. Really simple lesson today, so let's get into it. When multiplying exponents, there's going to be different rules depending on what the problem looks like in regards to exponents. Um, this page has three examples on. We're only going to go through the first two examples on this page and focus on these two up here. Product of power's property and power of a power property. Let's look at product of a power's property first. So here we have a number and our base is the same. So our base is 4 and we're multiplying 4 squared times 4 cubed. So when we are multiplying exponents, it's really easy to write the new exponent because you're just going to add the two exponents. So 4 to the second times, whoops, 4 to the second times 4 to the third, 2 plus 3 is 5, so that's going to give us 4 to the fifth. So we wrote the new exponent after we have added together our two exponents that are with our base of 4. So that is the product of powers property. The power of a power property is where you have an exponent, but then you have that exponent itself have a power to it. So it's 4 to the 6th to the 3rd power. When you have something like this, and it's usually separated by parentheses, that you have 4 to the 6th to the 3rd, those numbers you're not going to add like up here. Those numbers you're going to multiply together. And that will give you your exponent. So 4 to the 6th to the 3rd is the same as 4 to the 18th power. So let's go back. We're multiplying powers with the same base. This is that first example that we looked at, so we're going to go through again. I have the same base of 2. 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 5th. We add the two exponents then, since we're multiplying those together. So 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 5th, 4 plus 5, gives us 2 to the 9th. Next example, I have negative 5 times negative 5 to the 6th. Now negative 5 doesn't have an exponent with it, but we can add one. That means the same as negative 5 to the first power, which is just negative 5. So negative 5 to the first times negative 5 to the 6th. So my exponent's 1 and 6, so I add them together. So negative 5 times negative 5 to the 6th gives me negative 5 to the 7th power. Last example here, x to the 3rd times x to the 7th. Multiplying those together, we have the same base, and I'm just going to add my exponents together, x to the 10th. So product of powers property, pretty easy. All you have to do is add the two exponents together to get your new power for your exponent. Power of a power, a few other examples of it. Here we have 3 to the 4th power to the 3rd power. Remember, on these ones, you're not going to add. These ones, you're multiplying the two powers. So 4 times 3. 4 times 3 gives you 12. So 3 to the 4th to the 3rd actually equals 3 to the 12th power. Same thing. W is our base. W to the 5th to the 4th. Since we have a power of a power, we multiply those powers together, and that gives us W to the 20th. So, you have a get more math assignment. Go ahead and work through those. You're going to have just these two types of problems in it. If you get stuck and are wondering how to do this, revisit this video and go back through and look. Okay, is it asking for product of a power, where you're just multiplying the two bases? Or is it a power of a power where you have an exponent that has its own exponent and then it will tell you the rules you can follow. So f check out the video again if you have any questions when you're working on the Get More Math. If not, we'll see you next time.